Hello, everyone. It is bright and early, 8.30 a.m. on um, Monday, December 12th, and the Golden Globe nominations have just come out. Um, I looked at the video of the announcements, and it's only five minutes long, so I don't think that would be ideal for reacting, because it's going to be rapid fire, and there's going to be no time for me to really process anything. So instead of watching that... I'm going to be reading the nominations um, off of Next Best Picture so that I can, you know, process stuff in time. Um, so that is how we're going to be reacting today. Without further ado, you know, we gave our predictions a few days ago on Weekly Oscar Talk. You could check that out. Um, I'm feel pre feeling pretty confident in how, um, how we did there. Uh, but yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Starting off with motion picture drama. Avatar The Way of Water. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Me and Anthony both predicted that. I expected it. I expected it. I thought that they would see it in time. Um, we predicted, in case you didn't see our video, The Fableman's Avatar, Tar, Elvis, and Top Gun Maverick. We think little, um, we thought Women Talking might perform like Little Women did. Um, next up, Elvis. Okay, The Fableman's, yep. Tar, Top Gun Maverick. You know, everything's going as expected so far. That yeah. Yeah. I don't have much to say there. I that that's the lineup we predicted. So looking good so far. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too globesy. Motion picture comedy or musical. But how how can I okay, let's just look. Babylon, yep, yep, but it's, it's still getting in. Banshees, yep, yep. Love to see it. Everything I brought once. Oh, Glass Onion. Yes, that was the other one. And Triangle of Sadness. Oh, okay. Okay. We didn't think that they would go for that. No, we thought the menu would be strong enough to get in there. But Triangle, which seems to have lost some buzz lately, gets in there. Um, I love Triangle of Sadness, so I'm happy to see it. But um, interesting, nonetheless. I wonder if that would get into any acting categories now. And if the menu may not. Um, okay. Interesting. Okay, let's let's continue. Director, God, this is crazy. Steven Spielberg, definitely. Sarah Polly is what I would guess. James Cameron, the Daniels, and Bass is what what I would predict. James Cameron, yep. I mean, they adored the first avatar, and they're gonna love the second one. Daniels, yep, yep. It seems like a globes pick. The globes are gonna love them. Baz Luhrmann, yep, yep, I think we might have gone five for five here. Oh, never mind, Martin McDonough, Banshees of Inishirin, and probably Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. No, Sarah Pauly. Okay, they really didn't like women talking. Dang. The past two years, they had two female directors in this category, and they're back to none. Um, I hope that doesn't continue at the Oscars. I do think Women Talking will perform better at the Oscars than it is here. But um, that's upsetting. Did they get... They had to have seen the movie. Um, I wonder if they shut it out in the acting categories as well, if they shut it out here. Damn, no Sarah Pauly. Wow. Wow. Okay, good for Martin McDonough, though. Um, yeah. Best performance by an actress in a motion picture drama. Kate Blanchett, Daniel DeViler, Jennifer Lawrence, Viola Davis, and um, someone else who's obvious and I'm blanking on. Kate Blanchett, yep. Olivia Coleman, okay. So no Lawrence, no Lawrence. Olivia Coleman. Viola Davis. You're joking. Now, now that's some Globes bullshit. <laughs> okay, Honor to Armis for Blonde. She was good in the movie. I just did not think that anyone would want to touch that movie with a 10-foot pole. Mm, wow. Okay, who's who's missing? Daniel Debutter, you better be in the last spot here. Michelle Williams for the favorite ones. Oh my goodness, no, no. No, Daniel Debweiler. You're joking. That's like maybe after Kate Blanchett, the best lead actress performance of this year. 
How don't you nominate it? I also thought that she could win here. Damn. Yeah. You know? Okay. I mean, Honest Armas is a very Globes pick. I'll be honest. I just didn't. I thought that they had changed, but maybe they didn't. Um, Best performance by an actor in a motion picture drama. Um, Okay. Awesome Butler Elvis. There's your winner. Um, Brendan Fraser the Whale. Yep. Tom Cruise. No, Hugh Jackman the Sun. Yep. He's a star. People of Cape Lynchet can get in for Where'd You Go, Burn Dead. Hugh Jackman can get in for The Sun. Um, I don't understand why people were not expecting that. Um, Bill Nighy Living. Yep. And Sammy Fableman. Oh, Jeremy Pope for the inspection. I like that pick. I like that pick. I didn't expect that at all. That, that gives him a nice boost in the awards um, the awards race. So, good for him. Good for him. Um, okay. Next up, actors in a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Leslie Manville gets in. Okay. I wasn't sure if they were going to do that. Margot Robbie. Yep. On Taylor Joy. Okay, so the menu still gets... Um, one performance, and we'll have to see actor in a second. Um, Emma Thompson, good luck to you, Leo Grande, and Michelle Yeoh, right? Michelle Yeoh, everything everyone wants. Thank God. Oh my God. They didn't nominate her. Wow. Um, yeah, that's nothing, nothing too crazy missing there, I don't think. Um, yeah, good lineup, good lineup. Uh, actor. I think Sandler, I think Craig, I think um, I, uh, my mind is just, it's 8 a.m. It's, I'm, let's just react to it. Diego Calpa Babylon, good, good. I thought he might miss, but um, happy for him. Daniel Craig, yes, yes. Adam Driver, Colin Farrell, Adam Driver, Adam Driver. Okay. And... Ray Fines for the menu. Yeah, okay, so both the menu actors got in. Okay. I feel like there's something missing. I don't know why I feel like there's something missing. Babylon, Banshees, everything. Oh, Adam Sandler. Dang, I really thought Adam Sandler was going to get it. Just because Netflix has been campaigning that movie hard. And he's Adam Sandler. Um, okay. Supporting actress. Did any of the women talking actresses get in? I hope I hope at least one. But God, this is the craziest category of the season thus far. I have no clue what to expect. So let's just embrace for impact. Angela Bassett. Yep. Yep. I thought that was gonna happen. That's a globes pick. It's a very globesy pick. I'm happy for her. I think she's gonna she's gonna have the globes, guys. She's gonna get in at SAG. And then she's gonna get in at Critics Choice. I think I agree. I have to move her in at the Oscars as well. I might just have to do that. Um happy for her. Happy for her. Um Carrie Condon, and she's been Sheeran. She's gonna get nominated pretty much everywhere as well. She could potentially win. Um nothing too crazy so far. Jamie Lee Curtis, everything over all at once, yeah. She could win here, to be honest. The Globes love Jamie Lee Curtis. Um, sadly, I don't think Stephanie Sue will be nominated here. Um, let's see. Dolly DeLeon for Triangle of Sadness. Okay. So Triangle of Sadness did get a performance in. I mean, if it made it into musical or comedy uh, before the menu, which got two performances in, you would think that it did. So I'm happy for Dolly DeLeon. She's really good in the movie. Is the last spot going to be Janelle Monet? Carrie Mulligan for she said, no, Janelle Monet. Wow. Wow. Janelle Monet has been picking up a bunch of wins at the Critics Awards, like been winning most of the supporting actors category. Um, like the most wins of anyone this season. So I'm kind of shocked to not see her here. Oh, and oh my God, no women talking actresses. They really, they really just shut out women talking. They really just completely shut it out. Damn. 
So it's not like I'm getting into the screenplay or Ben Whitehaw. Um, wow. Okay. Speaking of which, just don't nominate Brad Pitt, please. Please. Brendan Gleeson. Yes. Yes. Barry Keoghan. Both of them. I think that's going to happen at the Oscars, too. Yes. I, good choice. I, I honestly just probably slightly prefer Barry over Brendan performance in that movie. Both very good, though. You know? Next. Mo- moving on. Yay! Make it up for that. Thank you. There's your winner. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't say I'm surprised by that pick, Globes. Or the Brad Pitt pick. Those are two very Globes choices. Um, missing Ben Wyshaw, obviously. Um, who else? Ben Wyshaw. Anyone else? Oh, no Fableman's actors. Um, no Tom Hanks for Elvis. But I did think that was going to happen. Um, but yeah, other than that, nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, I had, um, what's his name? I had Tom Hanks instead of Brad Pitt. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Animated, this should be pretty easy. Pinocchio. Okay, never mind. Inuo. The Globes do do some um, out of out of the box picks for animated. Um, Marcel the Shell, an amazing, amazing movie. Um, Puss in Boots: Last Wish. Yep. And Turning Red. Yep. Okay, so no bad guys and no um. Uh, no. No other Disney movies outside of Turning Red. Um, pretty good lineup. Pretty good lineup. Nothing too crazy. Uh, best motion picture, non-English language. All Quiet. Yes. Um, I would think RR and Decision to Leave as well. Argentina 1985. Okay. I, did, I didn't expect that one. I didn't expect that one, if I'm being honest. Um, close. I love the pick. I love the pick. Didn't expect it, but I love it. Um... Decision to leave. Yeah. Decision to leave. And then RR. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The top three are here. It was really between what was going to get those last two spots. I thought EO maybe had a chance given how strong it's been lately. Um, but that really boosts up Argentina 1985 and close. I think close is probably our number three at the Oscars since RR can't compete there. Um, but yeah, I think RR will win here. So I'm happy for you, RR. I think you can still get into song as well. Um, yeah. Screenplay, Tar, yes. Duh. Um, Fablemans, yep. Everything Around at Once, yep. The Banshees of Insure, yep. And then probably Glass Onion. Oh, wh- so you saw the movie and you just chose to go for just screenplay. What, man? What? HFPA, you're confusing me now. Like, pick pick something to do here. Like, that's just odd. Uh, okay, original score. Uh, Pinocchio, yeah, they love... It's just plot. Um, women talking, okay, okay. I'm glad that you're not nominating it in two places now, but I still don't understand no director or performers. Um, Babylon, yeah. Fablemans, yeah. Banshee's Van Sheeran, nice. That's in that. I think that could get into score at the Oscars too. Um, I think that's definitely gaining some steam there. A good, great score as well. Um, original song, let's see. Yep, they love Taylor Swift people. They love Taylor Swift. Um, yeah, as do I. Ciao, Papa, for Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Okay, okay. That's a that's a nice nice song as well. Um, okay. Hold my hand, yep. I imagine the Black Panther song. Yeah. And not to not to. Yes, yes, not to not to. As they should, as they should. Um yeah. I'd say I'll be interested to see what wins here. 
Um, I think it's probably between Gaga and Rihanna here. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good lineup. Good lineup. Um, let's quickly go through the TV series because I know I'm more of a film awards at least this time of year based channel, but I also watch a ton of TV. So let's quick quickly take a look. Television series drama. We've got Vertical Soul, House of the Dragon, The Crown, Ozark, Severance. Okay, nothing too crazy on my mind missing there. Um, good lineup. Abbott Elementary, the, the Bear, Hacks, the only person in the building. Wednesday made it in to that. Okay, okay. I had Jenna Ortega getting nominated. I did not have Wednesday getting nominated. So that's interesting. And that, that show has had a ton of buzz lately, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Blackbird, Monster, Pam and Tommy, The Dropout, White Lotus. Yeah, White Lotus should win this. Um, oh, yes, Emma Darcy, Laura Linney. Okay, yeah, yeah, good lineup, good lineup. Diego Luna for Andor. That's fucking right. That show should have gotten in up here. Sadly, didn't. But I'm happy Diego Luna did, as well as Adam Scott and Bob Odenkirk. Um... I'm not sure if uh, Patty Constantine is in supporting or lead. Uh, let's let's see. Actress comedy, yeah, makes sense. Musical comedy, yeah, makes sense. I hope Jeremy Allen White wins that. Honestly, um, not a single um White Lotus performance here. That's kind of shocking. Um, wow. No Jennifer Coolidge, no anyone. No Aubrey Plaza. Well, okay. Um, Becky, Einbinder, L. James, both the Abbott ladies. Yeah, great choice. Um, okay. Yeah, so no no Patty Constantine. Um, that's what it looks like. Okay. I like, I like these other choices, though. Oh. There's they're supporting. I forgot. So Jennifer Coolidge, Claire Danes, Daisy Edgar Jones, Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Turn Egerton, Colin Firth, Andrew Garfield, Evan Peters, Sebastian Stan. Evan Peters will probably win that. Uh F. Marie Abraham, Donald Gleason, blah, 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 blah. Seth Rogen. Um okay. And that is everything. Okay, everyone. Those were the Golden Globe nominations, our first major, major group nominations of this Oscar season. Um, big takeaways. Women talking, sadly, shut out pretty much everywhere above the line outside of screenplay. It also got into score. Um, I didn't think it was going to get into drama picture. I thought it was going to be shut out there. I did not expect it to miss in all of the acting categories. That's a little shocking. But just like Little Women, which is the trajectory, I I see this movie having similar to it, which is why I didn't have it predicted here. Um, I think it'll still get in. I think it'll perform better at the Oscars. Um, I think it'll do well at organization, organizations like the BAFTAs. I'm not sure about SAG. We'll have to see. It could honestly win SAG Ensemble. It's I think it'll get nominated there. Um, but yeah, that's that's a very disappointing outcome here. Probably the most disappointing. Um, Avatar. They saw Avatar, y'all. Never doubt James Cameron. I'm going to keep saying it all season. Um, you should have had him predicted here, everywhere he could be. Um, and he did end up here everywhere he could be. So, yeah, never. I mean, doubt James Cameron at your own risk is all I'll say. Um, and then Fableman's performed pretty much as expected. It just missed in the supporting actor category. Banshees did very well. It got one extra acting nomination than expected. It got both um, Barry and Brendan in there, so that, that was nice. I think that'll carry over at the Oscars as well. Elvis performed pretty much as expected. It got director. I thought it was going to get Hanks as well, but um, it did not. Uh, but everything else pretty much as expected there. Tar went pretty much as expected. Um, and Todd Field I just doesn't seem like a Globes director pick, in my opinion. Uh, Top Gun. Pretty much as expected there as well. I didn't think it was going to get director. Um, I don't. I think in terms of wins there, it's going to be either Fablemans or Elvis. Uh, Motion Babylon is still strong. 
got Brad Pitt in even. Brad, I mean, Babylon got three nominations in there. So Babylon is still alive, people, at least at the Globes. Um, everything Ever All Once performed as expected. Sad, sadly, no Stephanie Sue. That's a tragic outcome. Um, but, you know, I sadly expected that as well. Um, last song in, no Janelle Monet. That's one of the biggest shocks, honestly. Um, I honestly thought that they were win competitive here, but I guess not. Um, I think they'll still get in at other places like Zach. I mean, they're they're leading, I would say, so far the supporting actress category, but there's really no clear lead there because it's just critics groups. Triangle Sadness and Dolly DeLeon. Nice surprise. I really, really like that choice. She was incredible in the movie. I wish she carried over at the Oscars in other places. Who knows? Maybe she will. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy about that movie doing pretty well. Uh, Banshee's also gone to director, which I didn't expect. So Banshee's is doing very, very strong. Um, I'm not sure what the nomination leader was, but I, I imagine Banshee's would have to be up there with movies like The Fablemans and everything everywhere. Um, Anna Darmus was in, was a Golden Globes choice. You know, she's good in the movie. It's just, there were better options is all I would say in better movies. Um, especially Daniel Deadweather. Daniel Deadweather missing is like maybe the saddest thing overall outside of women talking just not doing well um no gabriel labelle i was sad about that for failments because i think he's easily the best performance in the movie but you know he's a young male and most awards bodies don't like that um uh there's nothing else i mean no adam sandler was a little surprising adam driver being the sole nomination for white noise it's interesting i didn't expect that um but I guess that's just his star power. Uh, Angela Bassett. I think I think it might happen at the Oscars, guys. I think it might happen. Um, Karen Mulligan. I think this definitely, as she said, is like dying down very much so in terms of awards chances. I think this is um, a very good boost to her chances, at least keeping her in the conversation. Um, Eddie Redmayne. I expected that that was a Globes pick. They, they had to go with either Eddie Redmayne or Tom Hanks. I was predicting both, um, which would have been nuts. Um, but... I mean, that's a Globes pick. Brad Pitt. Questionable choice. I haven't seen the movie, but, um, you know, also a Globes pick. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything. So, you know, nothing too crazy outside of the stuff I just highlighted. An interesting start to award season. Um, yeah, yeah. Those are my thoughts on all of the Golden Globes nominations. Sorry if I'm not as animated as usually in reactions. It's 8 a.m. and I'm tired, um, but, you know, a fun start to the day for the most part, I would say. So comment your thoughts on all of these predictions down below. Who do you think is going to win in these categories now? Has it affect your Oscar chances or predictions? Um, all that fun stuff. Like the video, subscribe, and we will see you all next time.